All right, what is up, guys? VV back again with another review video. The this is the last one from OP04 cards because this is yellow. Uh, what a set this has been, but yeah, let, let's get right into it so we can talk about it afterwards. A um, lot of cool stuff coming from OP04. I think everyone can agree with that. Us, us here in the West are going to be jealous from uh, the J Japanese players who are going to get to experience it first. But hey, that gives us more time to theory, theory craft, you know, deck build and theory craft and make proxies and whatnot. So, all right, so let's get into it. Otama here to start it off for yellow. One cost, zero power, 1,000 counter, land of Wano type. Uh, this effect is on play. Add up to one of your opponents. Add up to one of your opponent's animal or smile type characters. The cost of three or less to the top of your opponent's life cards face up. Add up to one of your opponent's animal or smile type cards. With a cost of three or less. It, I wonder if this is a bad translation. It does. It doesn't sound right. How do you know if your opponent's going to have an animal or smile type character? Maybe it's your opponent chooses an animal or smile type character for you to uh, put on top of your life cards. I, I don't know. Uh, if this card is what it reads, I give this a 1 out of 10. Uh, this might just be a 0 out of 10. It has 0 power. Well, I, I, I guess I'll give it a 2.5 out of 10 because it at least has a 1,000 counter. But there, there's no reason to play this card if it is the way it is. 2.5 out of 10. Hopefully that's a translational error, guys. <laughs> that was, that's pretty bad, right? <laughs> that's pretty bad. Um, okay, so next we have a uh, two cost zero power Toko, who is a 1,000 uh, counter yellow land Wano character. Effect on play. <clears throat> Excuse me. You may trash two land of Wano type cards from your hand. If you have one or less life cards, add one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. Whew, it's, a, it's a rough start for yellow. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's a rough start for yellow. Trash two Land of Wano type cards from your hand. If you have one or less life cards, add one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. So remember, you're, you're tossing three cards, right? You're playing this card, which is a zero. It's a two cost, zero power. So there goes one of your counters. You're ditching two other cards that have to be Land of Wano types. And then, and then, if you have one or less life cards, you can add one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life. Uh, 2.5 out of 10. We got two 2.5 out of 10s in a row. Otama and Toko. That's that's rough. Olin. Olin. Seven cost, 7,000 power, yellow, Land of Wano, Four Emperor's Big Mom Pirates character. Uh, effect, also treat this card's name as Charlotte Lindland according to the rules. Okay. Trigger, if you have one or less life cards, play this card. The triggers, can't, well, you know, well, with yellow, you will have some um, life manipulation. So the trigger might be decent just to get an easy seven cost down. Um, but I'll tell you what, that, uh, uh, that effect is just nothing, right? It's just Charlotte Linlin. So I guess that helps like homies, the, the homies cards, maybe. I, I don't know. <clears throat> Someone explain to me in the bottom if you figure it out or maybe, you know, if, if I'm missing something. Um, otherwise, maybe there's a card we haven't seen yet that makes all this make sense. I, I just don't know, to be honest with you. This is 7 cost 7,000, so it's missing 2,000 power and 1,000 counter. But it does have the trigger for if you have one, one or less life cards to play this card. Even that is is a risky business. I'm going with a 4.5 out of 10. Why not just run a 7 cost 9,000? You know, um, I don't know if yellow has access to that yet because I know it's one of the newer colors or if not the newest color. <clears throat> yeah, it, yeah, it's the newest one. What am I talking about? It, it's, it's, it's just. I don't know if it has a seven cost nine thousand to run, but as is, I, j I just don't see this card being that good. I'm, I'm going. It's, it's at least a seven thousand body, and has a potential trigger to put it into play. But I'm going under average with this card because it doesn't have a counter either. So I, I'm going to go four out of five. Capone Gang Beige. Three cost, 3,000 power, 2,000 counter, fire tank, yellow character, pirates, or fire tank, pirates, yellow character. <laughs> With trigger, up to one of your opponent's leaders or character's cards cannot attack during this turn. So the trigger is pretty decent, right? You know, you can just stop someone from attacking. That That's fine with no cost at all. It's a three cost, 3K, 2,000 counter. I think this is a solid 8.5 out of 10 because it's got to be at least a 7.5 out of 10 being a 2K counter, right? Um, and then it's 3K... Three three um, cost three thousand power, excuse me, and then it also has this trigger. 
Up to one of your opponent's leader or character cards cannot attack during this turn. You can shut down anything you want with that. So I, I, I think this is actually about 8.5. Not bad. Alternate art looks really cool. I like that a lot. Carmel. 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 Two cost, 1,000 power, 1,000 counter, yellow, House of Lambs character. Effect, your turn, on play, draw a card. Very nice. And then trigger, play this card. Then KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less. So far, this has been the best card, I think, revealed, even though it's just, just a two cost. Because this card's never dead. Well, I shouldn't say it's never dead, because when you're attacking, it definitely is. It's just a 1K power, it's, yeah, 1,000 power attacker. But realistically, it's going to do exactly what you want it to right away. And it's not even a Land of Wano card. <laughs> like, uh, that's, like, I was hoping, you know, or not hoping, but I was thinking it'd be Land of Wano to help this stuff out. It's it's not even that. But, um, yeah, two costs to draw a card. Two costs to draw a card. Now, there is the stipulation of your turn. So if you get this off the trigger, you do not draw the card. Okay? But you do get to KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less. The trigger's not, I don't think it's going to be insane. It's, it's good at clearing up little stuff on the board, like little one-cost blockers. Um, but I think the big effect is just playing this to draw a card. You're paying two to draw a card. That's it. 1k counter. I'll give this a 6 out of 10. It's almost like a two-cost cycle card. We'll give it a 6 out of 10. Kinemon. 6 cost, 6,000 power, yellow, land of Wano character. Activate main once per turn. Pay one. You may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. Set this character as active. Okay. Um, you, you know, you're losing life, but you're drawing a card from it. You know, you're, you are getting a resource at the cost of only one dawn um, once per turn. Add one card from the top of for the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand, set this card as active, character as active. Um, I think this is okay, actually. It is, it's missing 2,000 power and 1,000 counter for the, for the curve, but it, it still has the ability to swing twice, right? And it's just a one dawn investment to do that and a card off the top of your life. Um, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I don't think this is unbelievable, but I do think... It could have interesting interactions, especially with Yellow, who does have life manipulation. So I think this is a 6 out of 10 in that deck. Kozuki Hiyori. 2 cost, 0 power, 2,000 counter. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yellow, Land of Wano, Kazuki clan character. Effect on play. Up to one of your Land of Wano type leader or character cards gains plus 1,000 power during this turn. It is for the whole turn. Oh, well it's, well, it's on... It's, it's on play. Trigger, play this card. So getting it off the trigger is it's pretty good, right? Getting it off the trigger means that you will get this card to give your, your leader plus 1,000 power for the rest of the turn. I have to go back real quick, guys. I do apologize. Who is this Land of Wano character we're talking about? It doesn't even show a Land of Wano um, new leader. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. I think, um, I'm trying to think who that would be. Who is the Land of Wano? Is that, is that, um, Yamato? I, I believe, I believe it's Yamato. I could be wrong about that. But y'all just bear with me for a second. I, I think that's who it is. Let me see. Because, <clears throat> because otherwise it doesn't really make sense. Like, like what is this for? You know what I mean? Like, what, what is this card even trying to do? Um, yeah, she's Land of Wano. I thought so. Um, this card is a two K counter. It does have a trigger to play this card to give your your um, your leader some resilience for the rest of the turn. So I do think the card is okay. I do apologize again for that for that. Um, you know, that pause there, but I, I had to, I had to make sure, you know, what was going on there. It, because like I said, it, it just didn't quite make sense. And it still doesn't really make sense to me personally. Um, Land of Wano, I don't know. I guess they're, they're trying to add more support. Because like I said, yellow is the newest of the colors introduced to the game. So there is some catch up to, to be had, you know, there's some catch up needed. So, I, okay, 2K counter, I'm going to give this a, and it does have a decent trigger where, where you're, 
your um, leader can have plus 1,000 power for the rest of the turn. Um, so I'm going to give this like a solid 8.5 out of 10. Okay, Sanji. Here we go. I do know about this card. This is a 4 cost, 5,000 power, yellow, Vinsmoke family type character with 1,000 counter, blocker, and trigger. You may trash one card from your hand to play this card. I've talked about this before in my in one of my theory crafting, you know, brainstorming videos. This card is a 9 out of 10. It is never dead ever. Not at any point is it a dead card. Like yeah, they might they might remove it. It's not it's it doesn't have a lot of staying power, which is where you could take the one point off easily, but it's only 4 cost. You're getting 5000 powers. So that that hits the first threshold that you need to hit to, you know, start smacking into life with every deck other than Whitebeard, right? Uh, it has blocker, so if you're attacking, you can swing. If if you're blocking, or if you're on defense, it has blocker. You can trigger to play it to cheat it into play. It has a 1,000 counter. It's just never a dead card, you know what I mean? And, and I do give this card a 9 out of 10 for that. Sanji is an excellent, excellent card. Outstanding card. Very versatile. Oh, wow, that's really awesome. Check out the Sanji parallel art. I, I hadn't seen this yet. This is really cool. Okay, Charlotte Amanda, or Amand? Amandy? <clears throat> I don't know. Three calls, 3,000 power, 2,000 counter. I like that. Yellow Big Mom Pirates character. Effect, activate, main. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Sorry, my, my allergies are going crazy. Uh, activate main once per turn. You may trash one card with a trigger from your hand. Rest up to one of your opponent's characters that cost two or less. Okay, I mean, it is an effect, but it looks like this is just a 2k counter. Three calls, 3,000 power body, that is good. It doesn't have any trigger, um, but 2,000 counter is good enough. I'm giving this a 7.5 out of 10. This is this is just very solid for what it is. Charlotte Bavara, Bavarois. Three calls, 4,000 power, 1,000 counter. Big Mom Pilots, yellow character, with an effect of Dawn X1. So, you, you know, attach a Dawn. If you have less life cards than your opponent, this character gains plus 1,000 power. So that would make him into a 3 cost 6k. And he does have Trigger. You may trash one card for hand to play this card. But th that effect is really kind of bad. Um, the effect is, is, is situational. So if you're running any kind of like Charlotte Katakuri deck, or uh, Big Mom Pirates deck, or Yamato, where you start off with 5 cost, well, if you're ever going against a leader that is multicolored other than Rebecca and Vivi obviously then you're always at this disadvantage of this card not really working and then yeah at least he's a 1k counter or you could or you could cycle with him but I just I just don't think this card is where it needs to be the trigger the, the, the trigger does at least bring him back up and there is the situations where the effect turns on so I'm going to give him a 5.5 out of 10 but but ultimately I don't really like this card if I'm building a deck it's, it's not a card that I'm trying to build around Unless, who knows, you know, if I get more experience running yellow stuff, maybe this card becomes insane in my opinion. But, you know, on paper, for the way it looks, my, my first impressions of it, I'd give it a 5.5 out of 10. Charlotte Parasparrow. Okay, there's another Parasparrow card, but this is, you know, the three cost one, but this is just a vanilla version. This is a six cost, 8,000 power, 1,000 counter, yellow Big Mom Pirates character, vanilla, like I said, 5 out of 10. Charlotte Moscato, three cost, 4,000 power, 1,000 counter, yellow Big Mom Pirates character. Effect of attach one Dawn, this character gains Banish. Trigger, you may trash one card from your hand to play this card. Yeah, um, I don't see any problems here. You know, this, it's 1,000 power off of Curve, but it has this effect to attach a Dawn to get back on Curve and add Banish. And then you can trigger, to, you know, to, you know, trash a card to cheat it into play. Um... Yeah, I think this is fine. I just don't think it's crazy. I'm going to give it a... It has the trigger, the Dawn, you know. I find this better than the Dawn times 1 plus 1,000 for the one guy we just looked at. Uh, this guy. First of all, because it's not situational. It's just Dawn times 1, your character has Banish now. And second of all, you know, it, it is Banish. You know, it, since you can see what their top card is a lot of times with the yellow, or like run cards that allow you to see that... It, just, it does allow for that interaction. I feel like it has more synergy with that kind of deck. Um, but ultimately, I'm still only going to give this card a 6 out of 10. I think I gave the other one a 5 out of 10, 5.5 out of 10. This was just a 6 out of 10. I don't think it's anything special. Uh, Tonoyasu, 2 cost, 2,000 power, 1,000 counter, yellow Land of Wano type character. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
The effect is activate main. You may trash this card up to one of your land of Wano type leader or character cards gains plus 2,000 power during this turn. Okay, this I do like. So you're you're dropping. First of all, he's a he's a 1K counter if you ever need him. But you put him into play, and they either have to use some type of burn spell, or, you know, some way to get rid of him, or you know, well they can't because well, oh it is activate on your main. I'm sorry, I, 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 it's still strong, but I wish instead it was until your next turn. I, I misunderstood, even though I read it, I misunderstood in my mind what that was saying. Uh, power during this turn. Yeah, it does buff your leader for two costs. You're buffing your leader basically, like what would have, this This card cost two Dawn, but it's like it's giving your hero, hero or excuse me, your leader plus three Dawn. Uh, without actually attaching Dawn, right? So, so you saw that open. Um, the card is exactly what it needs to be because it's missing 2,000 power, right? It should be a two cost, 4,000 power, 1,000 counter as a vanilla. Well, it's giving someone plus 3,000. So I will give, I'll give it a five out of 10, even though it might, it might be a 5.5 out of 10. I'll give it a five out of 10. It's, it's, it's just fine for what it is. I just don't care for this kind of card. <clears throat> Excuse me, 3,000 power. Or th look at this guy, man. Three, 3K, three cost. 3,000 power, 1,000 counter, yellow, whole cake island type character, effect, blocker, and then he has on KO, add up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less to the top or bottom of your opponent's life cards face up. So this is a good way to get rid of like uh, Fukuro or any of the little three cost guys, you know, even like a Zoro. It just, it kind of gets rid of him and he's a blocker. Add up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less to the top or bottom of your... Yeah, I think this is really good. I actually think this is a very solid card on the lines of Fukuro. Because, you know, Fukuro has the ability to not die, right? Like, he's not getting KO'd. He can be bounced, but he can't be KO'd by effects, right? Because of his actual ability. But this card says, um, yeah, KO me, please, because I'm going to get rid of one of your guys. Now, yeah, there's times where it's going to whiff where there is no, you know, eligible target for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. But generally speaking, I think this card is really a, a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's solid. Hera, five costs, 3,000 power, 1,000 counter, uh, big mom pirate homies character, activate main, the effect is activate main, you may trash one of your homie type characters, other than this character, and rest this character, set up to one of your Charlotte Linlin characters as active. Okay, well, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, it, it, it makes me think of like, is there a homie that gives her double attack? I can't remember, but if there's a way to give uh, Charlotte Leland double attack and then you like you trash because I think you have to rest it. I know you can give banish. Let me check real quick. Um, yellow. I, I, I'm pretty sure there is. Um, oops. Can't spell. Yeah, there is. So um, Prometheus has activate main. You may rest this character up to one of your Charlotte Leland cards gains double attack during this turn. So I could see like this really cool combo where, I mean, it might not work. I'm just, you know, again, I'm just brainstorming, you know, possibilities with this card. You have a Charlotte, say you have Charlotte Lynn, Lynn like big mom down. If they don't have a blocker or you remove their blocker, you can give her double attack and then trash the Prometheus with this card. You may trash one of your homie type cards, characters other than this character and rest this character. You know, so you're resting her, getting rid of the Prometheus that just gave her double attack for the turn. And now your Charlotte Linland stands back up, right? So, so you'd swing first, of course. Then, you know, do the effect I just said. And it has trigger play this card. Um, this is cool. I think it's very combo-y. I'm just going to give it a 5 out of 10 because I think there is a potential for a combo there. But a lot of people don't like to play like that. It is. It tends to be less consistent. In fact, I, I think, you know, speaking in... I can speak on behalf of all card games. When you have a combo deck that becomes consistent, the format is broken. And so it's okay for this to be like that. But, you know, I think this might hit a few people every now and then not expecting it. Because <laughs> this can definitely sneak a win on you. Like, oh, you left uh, no no um, blocker on the board, right? So maybe you have this card down, but you play the Prometheus just to activate him with for three dawn. You know, play him for three dawn, activate him, give your, your Charlotte Linlin double, double attack, smash in, use this card, untap her, smash in again. You know, game over, you know, or something like that. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, 5 out of 10, though. I think this is just average otherwise because you are losing 2,000 power, uh, but you are gaining a trigger, and you do have an activate to uh, 
interact with your Charlotte Linlin to make her stronger. So it may, it may be a little less than a 5 out of 10 on paper, but, in you know, I, I'm going to keep it a 5 out of 10. I'm going to keep it there. It is a 5 cost, though. 4.5 out of 10. Final answer. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Yamato, 9 cost, 9,000 power, yellow, Land of Wano character, effect on play, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost equal to or less than the total of your and your opponent's life cards. Then, if you have one or less life cards, add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. Okay, now we're talking. I'm going to complete this with a 9. You know, like, you see how she's a 9 cost of 9,000 power? Well, yeah, she's getting a 9 out of 10 as well. She is missing 2,000 power and 1,000 counter for this incredible effect. Um, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost equal to or less than the total of your, or your, of your and your opponent's life cards. So if you have, like, you know, one or two life and your opponent has one or two life, you're, you're going to hit him for like three or four, right? You know, somewhere around there. Excuse me. And, um, or shoot, if, if, if you're playing defensive and you just have, you've been stacking up life, you know, your opponent, you, you haven't attacked your opponent once, you're just defending and going down. Well, if you have one life and they have four, well, now you're hitting a five or less, you know, off, off that. And, and like I said, if you have one life, well, guess what? Now you're adding a card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. You're not removing a card from hand. You're not discarding a card. It's just going straight up there. Uh, I think this card is really strong. Um, I'm giving a 9 out of 10. Yeah, th this card's awesome. Okay, cool alternate art for it. I do like that. Rabion. This is a 2 cost, 3,000 power, yellow, Big Mom Pirates, Homies. It's a Homies character. Okay, 1,000 counter. If I didn't already say that, trigger, play this card. So, get this, instead of it being a 2 cost, 4,000 power, 1,000 counter vanilla, they took 1,000 power away, made it a uh, trigger play this card. Th this is this is really good. I I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. It's, it's not incredible. I, I shouldn't say it's, it's really good, but it has a way to cheat it into play. 3,000 power for 2, you know, this this is fine for what it is. It's just a 6 out of 10. I, I don't know if this will see much play. Maybe. We'll see. Because you can trash this, right, with the, with the other card we looked at. Yeah, you may trash one of your, bit, your, your, your uh, homies type. Okay, so that's really cool. Randolph, five cost, 7,000 power, 1,000 counter, yellow, Big Mom Pirates, homies, uh, vanilla. So just a 7K beater, right? Just vanilla, five out of 10. Gun Modoki. Gun Modokai? Modokai? I don't know. One cost, yellow, Land of Wano, Kazuki Clan, event. Effect, main. You may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. Up to one of your Land of Wano type characters gains double attack during this turn. Okay, so you are giving up a life to potentially take one of theirs, right? That's that's the idea, at least. Um, and then it has a trigger. Up to one of your leader or character cards gains plus 1,000 power during this turn. So that is a nice trigger to try and ensure... You know, it, it'll put your... your um, your leader or a character, you know, plus 1,000. And in the case of your leaders, your leader will be plus, your, your leader will be 6,000 for the rest of the turn, which is really nice. Uh, I think this is just a 5 out of 10. Um, yeah, it can be sneaky. You might be able to sneak something through. Who knows? But I, I think, generally speaking, this is just a 5 out of 10. Uh, cool card. Nothing crazy, though. Diable, Jambe, Jew Shot? Jow Shot? Joe Shot? I don't know. Uh, three cost, yellow, Vin Smoke family type um, event. Effect, counter, up to one of your leader or character cards gains plus 6,000 power during this battle. There's another plus 6,000 power. Just remember, we, we, with uh, if anyone's watched my uh, OP04 Black uh, card review, we talked about it there too with, um, with um, what was it, Gum Gum King Kong Gun. But uh, okay, so for the rest of this card, then if you and your opponent have a total of four or less life cards... If you and your opponent have a total of four or less life cards, KO up to one of your opponent's characters that cost two or less. Uh, that's for it being that situational where you both have to have four or less life, which which will probably be the case, right? That that it'll it'll probably be easy to act to to hit, but hitting a two or less character might not be possible against some uh, against some opponents, or or what they hit is just so irrelevant it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not a big fan of the second part of the effect, but the plus six thousand I think is cool for three costs. I think that's cool. Trigger draw a card. Uh, I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10. Really cool card. Heavenly Fire. One cost. Yellow. Four Emperors. Big Mom Pirates event. Effect. 
main, add up to one of your opponent char your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less to the top or bottom of your opponent's life cards face up. So, okay, this is another way to just get your uh, the, your opponent's cards up to the top of their life. Uh, get them out of the way, get them on their life. But, you know, I, I think... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how good that is, right? I... I, I because the character will come back eventually. You didn't really remove it, and you gave them one extra turn, theoretically. You know, like, by giving them an extra life, you've given them an extra turn, so to speak. Um, it is one cost, and it does have a trigger. You may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. Add up to one card from your hand to the top of your life cards. That tr The trigger is nice. That trigger is nice. Because then you can... Because, again, you're adding a card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. So say you put, like, a, a, a crappy card from the top all the way to the bottom. Well, now you can draw that and then add up to one card uh, from your hand to the top of your life cards. Now you can put a really relevant effect on top, a really strong trigger. I think the trigger would be, like, an 8 out of 10. But the main effect I just see is, like, a 5 out of 10. So I'll put it somewhere in the middle. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Nothing crazy, but I think it's solid. Okay, guys, and that's it for the yellow cards. Got some... Uh, these are just some leaders that have yellow. I'm going to be honest. Uh, this yellow was probably the most disappointing to me of all the of all the colors in OP04. Um, it started off... Otama and Tok, Taco, Toko just seemed horrible. Uh, I, I, maybe I'm not understanding something. Maybe I'm missing a combo. Y'all tell me in the comments below if I'm missing something. Um, I'm, you know, more than willing to change my stance on leads if y'all can convince me. Uh, but... But yeah, overall, I think uh, Beige was pretty solid. I think this was pr really good. I think Karma was interesting. Kinemon was decent. 2K counter on Hiyori. Sanji was outstanding, 9 out of 10. Awesome alternate art, too, with the Sanji. Really cool. Um, what else? Was that it? I think there was one more good card. Oh, Yamato. Yamato, Yamato, however you say it. This, this card was excellent. Really powerful. Cool uh, alternate art as well. So yeah, guys, that was about it. This this set I'm looking so forward to, even though we're so far away. You know, mainly for all the new uh, leaders. There are so many cool new multicolor leaders. I just can't wait to play them. I personally am leaning more towards blue-black. You guys tell me what y'all are leaning towards in the comments below. And speaking of that, guys, if you don't mind leaving a like and a subscribe, if, if you don't mind, it helps me out. And, uh, it, and, you know, it's the best way to see when I got new videos coming. It should uh, notify you from that. And... Uh, Either way, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by and listening this far if you did. And, um, hey, until next time, peace.